Hey everybody and what's going on? This is the Trendy Slendy here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. I'm going to try to make this one short. This is just going to be a little ex explanation video here. Just a little bit about the series since my last video I just uploaded was more about explaining a few things about subscribers, unsubscribing, and different things. I really felt like it kind of took the limelight off the Minecraft thing and I was just using my Minecraft thing to, you know talk about something. Well, let me kill this thing. It has a hat I want. Give me that motherfucking hat. Come here. I like collecting hats. I have a weird thing for it. Well, the first things first is I'm the reason why I'm looking at one of my death markers is because I have created a home. Yes, if anyone ever watched my live stream event when I first introduced my Feed the Beast series, which do not worry guys, it's coming up. We just won't be starting from scratch like I had hoped to. I just I don't want to start from scratch again. It'll be terrible. I might do it if you guys get a positive reaction on this. I might get a whole clean vanilla server. It'll give me a little more knowledge on the servers. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. I got school in a little bit. So I thought, what would be the perfect time to show you guys what happens if you devote yourself to Minecraft for two days? Well, let me show you what you can do with the mod pack. The Feed the Beast Infinity Pack, which can be found at the Curse Server site. So this is what can happen. You could start from in a hole, which if you saw it, the Heidi Hole, which I had currently named it. You probably can see on my map that the house is back there, but ignore that, please. Um, my cat is now going to be annoying when I start recording. Goddamn cat. Well, all right. Here's what you can do. You can create an estate. I have currently created this place to be the main function of everything Minecraft Infinity Mod related. This has been timely named the Heidi Home, or as I call I like to call it sometimes, Slendy Estate. Currently, it is just the structure that's done of it. God, my cat, if you can hear that. It's currently just the structure of it, which um, I'm thinking of doing like, you know, a let's build of it, because it's actually pretty impressive. Because I, I haven't done like a let's play or let's build of anything. Since, like, my tent. I, I think I took that down or nest up or something like that. But, yes, this is my house. I am actually really impressed with myself on it. As you can see, I have taken advantage of the of the Bibliocraft mods, which give you lanterns instead of torches. Cost me a buttfuck of money. And I had to go out and do this and that to try and get the materials for it. But it's worthwhile getting. Slendy Estate, as it is called. Got my carpenter doors and my custom thing. Sadly, this is the most impressive display so far I've got of lanterns. This is currently going to be the living room, den, which you can see I have my XP drain, which leads to my room, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I got some lanterns. I'm doing this room first, just out of just choices. I'm lucky. I was having problems with the lighting. If you can see, I have F7 on, and it shows everywhere that a possible spawn can happen. But luckily, this inside torch has stopped it from happening for me. These will probably be looked into. Let me see if I get rid of this torch. Oh yeah, that's going to be a big ass problem. But I'll hopefully have it fixed. But um, the reason why there isn't that much lighting in the middle, let alone why this looks like this, is a little secret of mine that I'll probably release in the Feed the Beast and make it to an episode. I'm hoping by then I'll have my new equipment, which is going to be coming in May. So hopefully you guys like that. That would be amazing. Um, I can just get that set up and not have a problem. This is going to be my library, because since I have this weird thing about having like a library place, as well as my work area, which this is mostly going to be devoted to like Bibliocraft, Mysticraft, things that involve a lot of writing and crafting. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the main function of it. I don't think of anything else other than decor. This is definitely getting hit with the lanterns next, because this place needs to look nice. Gonna add some more desks. And we're going to have kind of like a little story going on with this. I'm going to try and make this one as short as possible since, oh my god, it's not that interesting. But, you know, this is like kind of a prologue to Feed the Beast. Gives you guys a little bit of a look and explanation. This is my... Well, this took the most time to build. Other than maybe the support beams. Since, as I said before, this is all survival. Feed the Beast can't change it. Can't do nothing about it. I have to build this all on my own with my own materials. Which I'll explain when I get downstairs about how I did all this because you're probably thinking man you're a fucking liar but I have a reason for how I did this and I might need to show you guys how I did it well this is going to be my botany 
demon like flowers thing Thumio craft stuff I don't know really even know what half of these mods are really at the core but most of it's going to include plant life as well as my farming needs which as you can tell I have raspberry juice which actually does good and as soon as I get my golem farm up for my snow I'm going to have smoothies which are do it a, a shit ton and are amazing okay so yes this is currently it took a buttload of bucks I'm going to say that's over 300 glass blocks up there since each one of those individual ones was eight and if you times that by about three rows, that's three. And if you find out how many, that's like ten. So times that up, it should equal over 300 glass blocks. Not even mentioning the rest of them. So hopefully the design was meant to be built for... It's allowing some rain to seep through the wood, as you can tell. That was a functionality and an error of my building. Which just helps, because of course this is going to be very green-like. Um, the this lots allow natural moonlight and sunlight to come through and allow the plants to get the light they need. We have a little water source here. It's, um, I don't know how to make an infinite water source, but this is just meant to give it a nice little feel. So, you know, alchemy and different things. I have my owl. That hurt. God damn it, I'm having heart problems. <laughs> well, as you can tell, there is, you probably don't know what this is. If you do, awesome for you. This is the Petal Apothecary, which is used in Botania. Which I'll explain that in the mod series as we continue, because I'm probably going to have to base it around finishing these mods. But this is also Cauldron, as you know, for potions, which I will be using for different things. So yeah, that's just pretty much its function for now. If it gets another function, I'll mention it. But um, I just wanted to show this off since it took a long time to build this. Much longer than it took to set up like my hidey hole. My hidey hole, which I'll show you in a minute when I go down there, was pretty cool and has a nice little story. So over here... It's not completely set up. This is like the worst place that's not set up yet. Is my little platform kind of... I called this like a Tudor Manor slash castle since this is the buttress design. We've got item cannons, which I'm going to be using for this transportation. And it allows me to look over, climb onto here, which I'm probably going to have to put some lights on the outside of this to make sure this gets lit up. Also, one or two torches up there to keep the light up because I don't want to have creatures coming down or maybe I do because then I could ambush them but um yes this is basically the idea the idea for the item cannons is less to be an item cannon more so just to be the fact that I want it to look like my guy is preparing for war the reason for this I'll explain in a little bit there's I, I'm really into making stories if you know me and it, it's just so fun and gives me an extra feeling to Minecraft and so here comes the fun part which I'm gonna explain about that in a minute because I'm mostly proud of those I found these back when I um, first started at looking through the items. I looked at all the items, which you can see there are all these items. 177 pages of items. And I found those, and I thought those were awesome, and I found them by accident. But, as yes, I got my carpenter's bed, which you can use dyes on anything carpenter-wise. Like, you can see my doors look like the wood. It's because you can actually put, make these glass, ice, dirt, log, plate, stone, whatever you want. Um, let me show you this real quick. Um, you hit them, you chop them down, they break. I have to grab them. Oh, that's also the lexica. Well, I'll talk about that whenever I get to it. Um, oh my god. Okay, you put it down. You see, it's like this default scrambled pixelated texture. You go up to it, you click it, and you click it, and there you are. Now, like I said, you can also switch these. Oh, let's do glass, actually, because I'll get the panes back. I was making those to make the lanterns, but I ran out of um, a certain block needed for them. forgot which one. Oh, I'm going to let this cat out in a minute. Let me finish the damn video. Let me finish the damn video. Okay. So, like, so you can put the planes on there. turns into a pane door. If you use the blast blocks, it'd look more like a glass block rather than a pane, but that's about it. So, Yes. That is the cool thing about these doors. It allows you full customization, and I just find them really unique in their own way, and I'm using them for all of my new door materials, since they are so easy to make. The same amount of materials needed to make a wooden door. So it's really worth it if you have this mod. You should really look into making these doors, because it gives you... And also it has that nice little two-door opening effect that I love so much on my fronts of my houses. Which if anyone's ever watched a series of mine or played with me, it is a very common thing in my builds. So, on to these. Thumacraft. Yes, I actually had a funny story with that. I ran into a cult worshipping on a shard. 
And they ended up wanting to murder me, and I had about six clerks, which are magicians or magic people. I call them magicians since they're not technically wizards or mages. They went and attacked me, and I s killed them all and stole these banners. Which the funny thing was is before, I had went to, I'll show you the map, I went to map out over here. Um, yeah, over here basically. It hasn't spawned in these chunks. Can you please shut up for my video? I'll release you in a minute. God, I'm sorry. My cat. But yes. This whole area is actually an extension plan, which I'll leave that to the next video to keep you guys wondering. Yeah, you see? I'm not going to talk and ruin everything in the first video. You guys still love me, right? Well, anyways. Basically, I, went to, I wanted to map out more of the villages as I have little things that I've put together. So I have other things in the future. This is spawn around here, which you probably can see my mouse. If you can't, it's down by that village, though, underneath it. That is where I spawned in. And I walked over to here. I went over to here. Are you going to keep meowing like that till I let you out? Fine, I'm going to let my cat out. Give me a minute. Yeah, sad thing is I can't pause this video, or then I'll have to edit it and it fucks it up. So yeah! As you can see, from this god-awful state of affairs, you all are probably laughing at me now, or have probably left. But yes, I have a lot of plans for Feed the Beast. I want to do a lot of things in it, as well as build Slendy Estate to be the greatest home ever built. Probably isn't going to be that, but who gives a fuck. I'll probably end up tearing it down one day and making a castle. And then calling it, like, Fort Slenderman. Making it, as you know, my YouTuber name is Slendy. Which is, uh, it's got a little backstory. Maybe one day I'll do a video on it, but I don't know. But yes, we're keeping the dreams alive. This is going to be a series if you guys want to please like, comment, and subscribe. I really need the support. And like and comment, which I said that before, I'm a fucking idiot. But like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will definitely get more videos out to you. And as soon as I get better equipment, which is not too long off, I will be doing that. And hopefully, every Friday, as you guys might know, I will be live streaming on Twitch TV. Uh, Twitch TV forward slash the inverse codex, which is long story short. Uh, that'll come up one day. But I'll be live streaming there every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Doing random games of my choice, whether it be, you know, like the Impossible Quiz, which I tried doing for a video, but thanks to the Rocky music, it got freaking flagged down. <sighs> it's pathetic. But yes, I'll be making more of these videos. Let's call this the prologue to everything. If you guys want to see this, please like and favorite this video so that I know what you guys want and I can get you the content you want so that, you know, people won't hate me anymore and people actually want to subscribe on their own without me asking them to. Please, I'm desperate. But anyways, this has been the Trendy Slendy. You very trendy, beautiful people. Thank you for watching this video. I know my videos are a little lengthy, but please understand, I will always say this till it happens, that I don't have the money for the equipment, and I am getting shit pay from YouTube about five cents a month. So please, if one day there's a Steam sale for this stuff, they have a Fraps magically there, and it's five cents, I'll buy it. Immediately. So thank you. For everything, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to, jo to join the trend today. Like and favorite this video and comment any kind of ideas you want for Feed the Beast or anything you want. Tips and tricks, things you sound or things you know about this that I may need some help with in the future thing. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or whatever you want to do to keep up with the updates. I'm trying to get this all out now so I don't annoy you guys in the later videos or down in the description. Because I hate writing long descriptions, but I do it. And it's so late in the morning, I'm slurring. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will be with me for the Feed the Beast series, as well as my Minecraft series on my vanilla world. Which I am including some mods in there that I wish were here, but aren't here. Like the furniture mod for extra furniture. But, you know, let's, let's conquer this world together. Make peace with the people that live here, and fight off the demons of the night. As the trend. We're going to make this place proxy paradise. Ba -da -da -da! So as always, I will see you guys in the next video and hopefully at the live stream. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Wait, 
You... Wait. You still here? I thought I told you to fucking leave. It's the end of the video. Watch. You guys wanted longer videos? Well, then you shouldn't have complained about my videos. I so fucking like <laughs> Nah, I'm just joking. I love you guys. I should really start doing this more. <laughs>